Well, here's what's required. You have to kill at least two does. I have to kill these. You two have does. to kill at least two. Okay. The cool thing about does is you can do it by any means. BB gun, spear gun, rifle, tannerite. Tannerite. You know, if you want to take them out on a date, kind of get them a little drunk first. Do that. Yeah. Do a little Bill Cosby on them. A little Bill Cosby. There you go. <laughs> Jordan! <laughs> you get the girls and girls and some drugs and then you get the pudding! <laughs> That's horrible! We're going to hell. <laughs> this is Fat Albert. Well, welcome. I'm Mark Rupi with Mark Rupi Outdoors. Today we're here with Jeff Tucker with the T5 Ranch. Thanks, for, thanks for having us. It's great to have you here. Me casa is su casa. Man, it's a, this is a beautiful place. That's French for welcome. Is it? I was wondering what that stood for. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what you've done in a, a short time here. I mean, this is year last year year or two years ago i was here with michelle is it amazing it is amazing okay. i mean the the uh the fence work that you've done and uh the food plots that you put in and the feeders that you put in and the stands that you put in you've in short time you've turned this place into a pretty good little hunting ranch i think it will work you shot a beautiful buck early this year how many bucks did you have on uh, uh trail cameras coming in Quite a few. I mean, when we did our surveys, we had 87 deer that we saw on the first night, then a week apart from that, 112, which for this place is kind of... And on how many acres is that? About 200. Wow. I wish I had that many crawling around uh, our place. That's pretty awesome. You could put some in your suitcase. We you could. Want to. Think they'd make it through travel security there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, after getting our stuff settled, we sat down in front of the computer and looked at some of Jeff's trail camera photos. Checking out the trail camera photos, you could see that there was two to three to four different good bucks that were coming in at each place. That's that one. That you see how his, his front beams kind of just come in and up on this one? You'll recognize him right off. He tends to run with that drop time. And so it looked like we may have a number of opportunities on our stay this week. And that kind of gives you an idea of some of the shooters that you're up to. Yeah. It's uh, almost four o'clock, so we probably take a shower and everything. And yeah, get yourself. We're going to get head up the hill. That's for nothing, really. Uh, Y'all are going down there, right? Are you going to go down there tonight, or are you going to just... You're changing your mind, aren't you? Uh, no, you saw all those little deer up there, and you went, Whoa! <laughs> I guarantee you this. If you go up top tonight, you're going to see deer. You're going you're gonna to see a shooter. After about an hour or so, pretty soon, does started showing up.
As the sun got ready to set and it looked like no bucks were coming in for the evening, we decided to fill our first doe tag. stumbling as she went. It's a good sign. She went in that cover over there. I think she's down right over there. Not very far. First day in Texas. Got her nice doe down. About right of light. And uh, those are, figured that was our last crack at him for the evening. You know which way she ran? I, I, lost, I lost sight of her somewhere right right in, right in, into this area, right in here. Son of a beehive. Down in there, like in that gully that she didn't turn right. You know. She be lying in that bottom bed. Okay. All right, day one here at the T5 Ranch in Texas. Faithful landowner and tracker Jeff Tucker helped us uh, find this deer. Made a good sh shot on it. The, uh, the arrow though came bounced out the same place it went in and made a devastating wound. And we found her, but uh, we've got an animal down. So the rest of the trip is gravy. We're super happy. Our first day out, saw a lot of deer. Can't wait for the rest of the trip. Well, that's a great start to the hunt. We've got one doe down and a lot more excitement to come. Stay tuned for step two Texas three-step.